Recently, I very kindly got gifted a code for God of War Ragnarok. Thank you to PlayStation UK. And among the hundreds of millions of reasons why I'm excited about this game, one of the biggest ones is the ginormous list of accessibility options in this game. I only have about a minute, so I want to do a very quick overview of their options. Firstly, look at the length of the accessibility features page on PlayStation's website for this game. I wish I had the time to cover this more in depth, but just look at the amount of options they have listed. This is the most detailed accessibility list I've seen in a while. When you boot up the game for the very first time, you can either jump straight into the game or you can select the accessibility preset menu, where you can choose from the vision accessibility preset, the hearing accessibility preset, motion reduction preset, or the motor accessibility preset. As for the individual settings, the main ones I want to talk about include control remapping. In this game, you can remap every button on your controller, and you can also create three custom layouts that you can switch between. Another one I want to talk about that comes in very handy for me is subtitles. You can change the size, you can add a background for better readability, you can also choose to include direction indicators for both sound effects and spoken dialogue. You can turn on speaker names, you can change the color of speaker name. You also have the choice of seven different capture colors, and seven different colors for the speakers. The high contrast mode is also really great for those with low vision. You can assign colors to 10 different categories, including the main characters, enemies, NPCs, and background. And one very important one for people with motor accessibility issues is you can turn off repeated button mashing and switch it to a hold option, which is very handy for quick time events. However, one thing I would nitpick is that uh, I didn't see an option to extend quick time event timers or remove them completely, which again can be an issue for people with motor accessibility, but that was the only thing I could find a nitpick. Again, there's so much to cover, go to War Ragnarok's accessibility features. This was just a very quick overview of a few I picked out. If you're playing the game, please let us know how you're finding it and whether you're enjoying it, though please avoid any spoilers in the comments.